Hey everyone, Tenji here. Um, just wanted to do a quick video tutorial on watermarking my photos. Um, typically when I upload them to Facebook, I put a little watermark over the top of them so that um, people know that when they look at my photos, they're actually looking at, um, I guess, a copy of them. And if they wanted to get a unwatermarked copy for their own personal use, then they can contact me. So, uh, oh, by the way, if you hear any jingling of bells in the background, that's my kitty cat running across the floor, because uh, I'm filming this, as you can see, at about 10pm at night, and he's got the midnight mads. So, just putting that out there. So, I'm not going to go through any of the settings um, about how to use it. I'm purely going to show you the watermarking feature. So, for Adobe Lightroom 3, uh, what I'll do is I'll right click my photo down here and go to the export and I've already got some exports uh, presets filled out so if you don't know how to do that I'll do another vi video tutorial for that but as you can see my Facebook export profile um, exports the photos at 640 by 480 at 240 pixels per inch and I've already got here a Facebook watermark so I'm just going to edit this watermark to show you what it looks like uh, you can see that Facebook's terms and conditions prevent me from uploading a non-watermarked version please email me at this address for a non-watermarked full image and you can see that down the bottom here now obviously you can choose a text or you can choose graphic I've gone for the text option because it's nice and simple and if we scroll down right to the very bottom you can choose where this watermark actually sits. You can also um, choose whether or not you want to fill the complete picture, do you want to fit it to the width of the picture, or you can choose where, uh, how proportional it is to the photo. Um, so I could make it really really small and put it in the top, or put it in the bottom right, bottom left sorry, and then I can make it bigger or smaller as needed. Um, obviously I can rotate the watermark as well. Very useful features there. Um, the only other thing that I usually play with is the opacity. Um, so you can see I haven't got it full ball, I've actually got it set somewhere around here so that you can still set the picture and the um, text doesn't quite get in the way. Now when I fired this up apparently there was already a drop shadow behind it I'm cool with that, so I left that there. And you can choose your colour based on um, the picture colour depth as well. So if you've got a dark picture, you'd probably want to choose a light colour, and obviously if you've got a light picture, you'd want to choose a dark colour. Um, considering that I've shot all of these basically indoors, I've gone for white text, so that's nice and easy for me. Um, I've cancelled that because I don't want to save that, but now if I export this image, as you can see up in the top left here, I'm exporting one JPEG file, and that will be done in just a second. And when that's, once that's done, I'll have a 640 by 480 image that I can upload to Facebook, which has a nice little watermark on there that says, um, if you want a full-size copy, please contact me at this address. So we've got task complete. I'm just going to go into Finder here. There's my image today. And if I bring that up, I've got that lovely watermark down the bottom here. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you watermark images in Lightroom 3. Thanks very much for watching. And um, I guess if more people want to see videos like this, we'll see you in the next video. So please feel free to comment and, uh, and we'll see how we go. Thanks for watching.